Hey guys, it's Blue K here, and um, I'm here making a video explaining um, why I um, got my access to the pudding clan revoked. Um, I just want to talk about this issue because if you've been my Discord, you would know that I've been having a lot of drama, and I just want to apologize first of all for my actions because I know that what I've done shouldn't be really forgiven or anything but you know I'm not seeking for forgiveness and there are people who already um, kind of lost respect towards me because of what I've done and you know I, un I understand I did a I did the wrong thing I wasn't supposed to share the file of pudding with another person or individual rather or anyone but honestly that was like uh, it was all out of actions out of my emotional feelings during that um, exact time so um so i'm just gonna be explaining everything this video so i can get over with it because i don't want to have to do with this anymore and to the owner of Putin, i guess we're just gonna go separate ways you can keep on making that client of yours and i did take the video down because of complaints that the client is skidded from via and cyanide um, um, honestly, it was kind of my fault because I didn't do research on the client. I just like, okay, um, okay, you sponsor me, I'll make a video, and they did. And um, I didn't pay attention to the little details and uh, didn't really consider other factors before making that video. So that was a misconcept on my part. And I apologize for that because I've always strived to be um, a person who reviews clients that are good quality and. I would never like want one of you guys just to go out there and purchase a ghost client that is like skidded and not high quality. Um, you know, I want the best for you guys as I know that you guys are the one that built up my reputation and my fan base on YouTube and I really appreciate that and I cherish it so I don't want to lose it just because of a video on a client. Um, as I said, I don't know if the client is skidded or not right now but there is proof that is skidded um, from another developer which is... I don't think I should even mention his name because I don't think he wants me to but essentially I sent him the file and he quote unquote cracked it I haven't tried the cracked version yet um you know I don't want to have anything to do with that um but yeah it's they cracked according to him um and the owner of the pudding client was really disappointed with me because I shared the file and it got cracked um so I guess it really got cracked because he wouldn't be that upset with me um, if it wasn't and he took my access away which is fair because I did broke the rules in the terms of service by sharing the file but what's worse is that he threatened me um, I'll just say what he said exactly he said I can do with I can do anything to your computer but I didn't so that's literally a sign that he wanted me to you know not to mess with him any further um, or warn me rather so at that point, I just kind of being, I was kind of being defiant and stuff, and all the drama happens. And right now, I wouldn't really recommend you to purchase Pudding Client until all the drama is over because we don't know if it's a skidded client or not. I mean, the GUI is obviously skidded. Um, and I will also try to redeem myself, and I know that. People who have lost their respect towards me, they will probably never respect me again, but that's honestly just my mistake and, you know, I don't expect any forgiveness from the community, but I do want to say a sincere sorry for anyone who have purchased put in under my recommendation. It was my fault and, uh, yeah, I, I really apologize for what I did. Um, but other than that, um, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it and I also... You guys might be wondering why I'm using the default texture pack. It's because I reset it my computer and I backed up only like my game files, my pictures, my videos. Those are the only three things that I backed up because I don't want to get my information stolen. If you guys didn't know, um, Gary, which is a that was like an OG, like I don't I don't even know if he's an OG or not, but basically he's also a developer that made a skidded ghost client and. He threatened face clan with it with his IP. When I saw the video, I was like, "Wow, that's kind of um, stupid." 
Um, so I don't want the same thing to happen to me. I don't want history to repeat itself. Um, not trying to be, uh, not trying to make it look like Gary V2, but like, yeah. Um, I resetted my computer. I changed my IP as soon as I got home and I just got home from school right now. So I'm recording this video and I think I should be safe from any, uh, threats from my computer. Hopefully. Okay. Um, but I hope all this drama can be over and I'm going to promise you guys here right now that from now on, I'm never going to try to just make videos on random clients. I will make sure to do my research and make sure that it's clean. It's high quality. It's not skidded and give my honest opinions. Cause I am going to be honest here. Um, all my reviews, they're not like completely honest. Like I never said I was honest. So that's really my own, my only counter argument to that. So I will try my best to be as honest as possible. Of course, at times, um, there are times where I kind of bias a little bit, depend on the client. And I've said this before, and I'll say it again. When you buy a client, you must look at the developer's personality as well. You can't just look at the codes, I mean, or the client's performance. Oh, this client's undetected in SS. It's so good. You can't just buy it because of that. You must look at the developer. If the developer is a scumbag that does malicious things, no matter how good his product is, I wouldn't even recommend you to purchase it. Like someone, like that's actually a good, like I would say, Manthe, he's really chill to me. I've talked with him in emails once and he actually forgave me for what I've done, which is another story for another day. I'm not gonna tell you guys what happened exactly, but really chill. You can also consider buying a random ghost. The owners are nice, especially Decade. I don't really talk to Sin that much, but yeah. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys did enjoy and um, hope this video clear some stuff up about what happened and i'll see you guys in the next video peace out